Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna boot RetroPie 4.3 from a one terabyte external hard drive with no SD card. I flashed RetroPie 4.3 to this one terabyte hard drive. This will only work on the Raspberry Pi 3 and you need to set the Raspberry Pi 3 up to boot from USB. I'm using the dual fan heatsink I recently did a video on and the G3S GameSir controller. This is the dongle for it. Now you have to set your Pi 3 up. I previously made a video on how to boot from USB from the Raspberry Pi 3. There's a little configuration you need to do. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to that video. Go ahead and plug the Pi in now. There is no SD card in the Raspberry Pi. Everything is booting from the one terabyte Toshiba hard drive. So one weird thing is this is a one terabyte hard drive, but after everything's said and done, it says I have 650 gigabytes of free space left. I'm not really sure what that's about. I haven't tested this long term. I did run some games on it. So don't put all your eggs in one basket just yet. I thought this was a pretty cool experiment. I mean, I would not rely on this hard drive as my main build. I would still stick with an SD card. You can always use a hard drive to store your ROMs if you want to. But this is something cool to mess around with and maybe later on down the road, it'll get better support. I did test it on my one terabyte hard drive. Also tested it on a 32 gigabyte USB drive and 128 gigabyte USB drive. Both work fine. After I got this up and running on some USB drives and a hard drive, I pulled my Element 14 Pi Top out of storage. This is the Element 14 Pi Top. I did a few videos on this. I'll leave it in the description for you. But as you can see, we're running from the USB hard drive now. Like I said, I haven't been able to test this long term, but right now it's working fine. I got a bunch of games installed over my Wi-Fi network and everything works fine on the hard drive. Now, inside of this Pi Top, I have a Mushkin 128 gigabyte M2 SSD. I also installed a fan. When I first got this unit, I did mess around with it a bunch using Raspbian, but now that I can run RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 3 from an external hard drive, I'm gonna be using this. That 128 gigabyte SSD will finally go to use. Raspberry Pi 3 will have to be programmed to boot from USB. I did make a video on this. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can follow that tutorial to get up and running from USB. It does require booting from an SD card at first to program it, but after you set it all up, you can flash to an external hard drive or a USB stick, anything really, and boot it from USB. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to leave some links down below to videos I previously did on this Element 14 Pi Top and how to program your Raspberry Pi to boot from USB. I'll also leave links to Amazon to all the equipment I'm using here in this video. I'll throw some USB hard drives down there so you can check them out if you're interested. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.